1920s to the 1960s with our next team are the All Good To Go. Stunning, stunning. So DJ, get that runway music ready for the 1960s. And it's a noise for Team 1960s! Up first we have Stunning! for 119 pounds. Did they have to use their SAS money? Which I don't know what that is. <laughs> I made every single thing that I'm wearing. Do you from scratch? Did you sew, did you sew it all? Yes, alone. One second. You can see how bad the seams are up close. The shit should be, the should be, the shit. Yes, all of you, all of you. Well, okay, I'll be honest, I'm not a sewer at all, um, but I do want to take credit for the like, alterations that I made to like the length of the dress underneath and the coat and all the stoning and stuff that I did myself, the hair I did myself, the so that it's partially myself, so... Yeah, I'm not a sewer, guys, so big cheer for me. <laughs> so, I, uh, I sewed this. <laughs> Sure I embellished it. Good. And then what's, can I just ask, have you got like glitter spray on the trousers? Or did a unicorn spunk on you? <laughs> the second one. Here, smack that. Um, I don't have any questions, more so I just really love that you've done like a gender spectrum. Yeah. All the way from like Marina and the Diamonds to Sammy Toxvig, so. Love it. Everything betwixt and between. Obsessed. Thank you. I, I do have a question quickly. Uh, obviously, you're referencing the iconic um, Scooby-Doo, no doubt. Doctor Who I got because of the thing I didn't. <laughs> I don't watch Doctor Who, don't deport me. But do you want to explain the like storyline? Because you're meant to have like a fashion who's. So if you have like a storyline you'd like to explain to us, now's your chance. Yes, so we are giving the gender spectrum throughout media of the 1960s. We have Scooby-Doo for masculine, we have Doctor Who for androgynous, and I am doing hairspray for hyperfeminine. We also went with like tones of purple and lilac to represent that androgyny. Do you have any questions, Miss Ru? No, I think everything's been covered. But before you leave, you have to get some truth from your muff in our little mini game. So. I think we'll go to this line, we'll start with Skinny down here, so close your eyes. Why does everyone have gloves on? Making this game so hard, oh my goodness. Okay, reach in, here we go, you got a card? Okay, if you pass it to me, I'm gonna read it out. Okay, the question is this, this is a little bit shady. Which contestant do you think still has more to show? Now that can be a good thing, it can be, has it, have they not shown yet? Who do you think still has more to show? 
I don't think that's shady at all. I think Slut Drop Sally has so much potential as a drama artist. Like 100%. Yes, love, love, love. Okay, Scout, we're going down to you. Here she is, here she is. Okay, this is a long one. Here we go, here we go. <clears throat> I love this one. Which suck you competitor do you think is the cutest out of drag? <laughs> Who would you like to kai kai with? Fancy yourself. Oh, okay. Right. This is interesting. Do eliminated people count? Yes. Crystal K. Hey! Stunning. Okay, and we're going to finish down with Steel. Reach into the box. There's a couple of cards left. Okay. Right. Okay. Steel. Do you agree with last week's elimination? No! Should someone else have gone home instead? <laughs> well, this question is complicated because you were in the bottom last week. You can agree, it's fine. Well, of course I agree. I sent the bitch home. Yeah! Nice yeah! and for Team 19 Sex Days! Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Well done, well done, well done. Are we enjoying the show so far, Delmonica? Yes. 